It's a big day for Kia today with the unveiling of the new Kia EV6 crossover, the brand's first ever dedicated battery electric vehicle. Unlike Kia's previous EVs that shared fossil fuel powered versions, the new EV6 was designed from day one as a purely battery electric vehicle, allowing the company to shift its innovation into high gear. The EV6 also marks the US launch of Kia's Plan S strategy to roll out 11 new electric models in the next five years. As a dedicated battery electric vehicle, the EV6 is built on a skateboard chassis that Kia calls the Electric Global Modular Platform, or eGMP. This skateboard will be the core tech found in the next generation of Kia electric vehicles. The design is rear-wheel drive biased, but supports a second motor up front for all-wheel drive capabilities. It also includes what Kia calls the world's first mass-produced integrated drive axle, which combines the wheel bearings and drive shaft to save weight and improve ride comfort and handling. For the EV6, the drivetrain options start with a 160 kilowatt rear motor paired with a 58 kilowatt hour battery. Upgrading to the larger 77.4 kWh battery allows the system to draw full power from the motor, peaking at 218 horsepower. An all-wheel drive model with a 77.4 kWh battery adds a 70 kW front motor for a total of 313 horsepower in a 0 to 60 mile per hour time of 5.1 seconds. Maxing out the EV6's specs in the GT version, we'll see the front and rear motors upgraded to 160 kilowatts and 270 kilowatts respectively, for a combined 576 horsepower and a zero to 60 time of less than 3.5 seconds. The nickel cobalt manganese battery in the floor offers up to a targeted 300 miles of range in its largest configuration. Kia claims that the EV6 sports the world's first patented multi-charging system that supports 400 volt and 800 volt DC fast charging, working with DC chargers ranging from 50 kilowatts to 350 kilowatts. At full tilt, that's 70 miles of range in just five minutes of charging, or up to 210 miles of range in a 10 to 80% recharge in under 18 minutes. If you've got the time though, the crossover's onboard 11 kilowatt level two charger can take the largest configuration battery from 10 to 100% in seven hours, which sounds just about right for an overnight charge. But in true 2021 fashion, the EV6 goes both ways, with vehicle to load charging that turns the crossover into a mobile electrical source with up to 1900 watts of power. It can even do vehicle to vehicle charging, though at a slower 1.1 kilowatt rate, or roughly the equivalent of charging off of a 110 volt home outlet. Heading inside, the EV6 has a modern cabin with plenty of space thanks to that flat floor design enabled by the skateboard chassis. There are over 100 cubic feet of passenger space with 27.7 cubic feet of cargo room behind the rear row, or nearly double that cargo space when the seats are folded down. Plus, of course, you've got even more storage space up front in the frunk. Tech-wise, you'll find a panoramic, dual-integrated 12-inch TFT center cluster and infotainment screens that provide this nice and wide curved display across the entire instrument panel. There's also both an augmented reality and heads-up display system to project graphics directly onto the windshield and create a 3D image over the hood of the car. A surround view monitor is provided through the use of four cameras around the car that provide a 360 degree perspective, helpful for parking in those tight spaces. Other driver aids include blind spot avoidance and forward collision avoidance, both of which use automatic braking to help avoid collisions. Those looking to slide into their own EV6 will have to wait until the vehicle goes on sale early next year, though it won't be until late next year that the first GT units roll into driveways. Anyone who wants to get an early leg up can reserve one of the initial 1500 first edition units that will come fully loaded with accessory packages as well as three unique color options. Those will be the first units off the line and will be available to start ordering on June 3rd. To find out even more about this new EV, make sure you head on over to Electrek and read our full first look article. There's a link in the description below to go check it out. Thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you here next time.